okay now we will prove this uh, theorem regarding the subgroup so a subset h is said to be subgroup of g if and only if first h is closed the second is identity e is in h and third if a is in h then a inverse in is also in h so this means that this this theorem tells us that you can leave the associativity property and still the set h will become a subgroup of g so the proof is containing of two parts so the first part is suppose h is subgroup suppose h is a subgroup if h is a subgroup then by definition what can i say by definition closure associativity identity and inverse all these four axioms are true correct so closure holds then associativity also holds inverse exists identity also exists so this means if i just pay attention at the first third and the fourth this means first third and fourth hold this means that but first is a third is b fourth is c that is a b and c fourth so this means that part 1 is over so i assume that h is a subgroup and i have proved that the first three properties hold now to go for the converse what i have to do i will assume that first second and third a b and c are true and in return i will prove that h is a subgroup of g so part 2 assume a b and c hold to show h is subgroup to show h is subgroup we have to show four points the four things are closure associativity identity and inverse so part a is actually the closure part b is identity so this also holds this also holds identity also there is there and part c is nothing but what inverse exists so that property also holds because we have assumed that for a b c and holds so if i want to show that h is a subgroup i have to show only one property what is that one property that property is i must show that associativity holds so remains to show associativity holds so let a b c belong to h to show a star b star c is equal to a star b star c right in h since a since b and c belong to h this means b star c also belongs to h why this comes because closure a also belongs to h therefore a star b star c also belongs to h again this is by closure right similarly 
A star B belongs to H because by closure and C also belongs to H. Therefore, by again closure, I can say that A star B star C belongs to H. This means that LHS belongs to H and RHS also belongs to H. Now we know that LHS is in H. We know that RHS in, is in H. We now have to prove that they are equal. So the left hand side is also in H. The right hand side is also in H. And now we have to show that both of both these answers, LHS and RHS are equal, right? Now, what is LHS? LHS is A star B star C is in H. But H is a subset of G. And also, what do we know? That A star B star C belongs to H. But again, H is a subset of G. Therefore, A star B star C is in G. And A star B star C is also in G. But what do you know about G? But G is a group. Therefore, associativity holds in G. And this means that A star B star C is equal to A star B star C in G. But we know that this is an element of H. We have earlier seen that A star B star C is in H. And we have also seen that A star B star C is also in H. And they are equal. And therefore, we can now conclude that A star B star C is equal to A star B star C in H also. Because both these elements are in H. They were also in G, but they are, but more precisely, they are also in H. And therefore, associativity holds in H. And therefore, all the four axioms are completed. And therefore, H is now a subgroup of G by definition. So this completes the part two. Therefore, by part one and part two, we can now conclude that H is a subgroup if and only if three things hold. What are the three things? Closure in H. Second is identity exists in H. And third thing is identity uh, inverse in H. Inverse is in H. So we can, by this theorem, we can now skip the associativity part to show a set as a subgroup or not.